Hey guys, alright, it's level 3, Liberated Tar Pits. We're where we left off. Um, hard weapon, hard mode, bad weapons. I found kind of a solution to the sound problem. I'm basically just gonna play the soundtrack in the background on a different computer with just the gun weapon sounds on this one. So there'll be a bit of feedback, but I think it'll be mostly alright. Um, so let's just play the briefing. Oh yeah, the old cowed control camera. Okay, let's just get out of this camera. There's so many cameras in this game, they're really annoying. Like, honestly. Alright, let's kill this thing. Boom. So this game can get pretty challenging now. Um, I mean, the first two levels, you're actually still unlocking your main weapons. So, like, you're kind of supposed to use bad weapons on those. By now, I should be using better stuff. So, like, it's gonna get pretty tough. Um, yeah. And tell you, tell me what you guys think about the sound. If it's too crappy, like the feedback, and I'll just turn it off completely. But this is really the only alter alternative if I'm gonna have sound. Um, I haven't heard it myself yet, but oh sweet, here's some giant worms. All right, awesome. I'm gonna go in hovercraft for this mode. As you know, the walker has two modes. Hovercraft is the same. Well, it's basically just um, faster but weaker, um, and it's a little bit harder to control. Whoops, yeah, like, kind of just bumped into him. Let's kill this worm. Boom. Alright, so this level's actually really fun, because it's really wide open. It's kind of like a puzzle in a lot of ways, like, I don't know. It's pretty cool. You you'll see as we go through. And these worms are awesome. <laughs> Alright, back to Walker. There's a giant worm up here, let's kill this sucker. Alright. So right now, this water wheel is blocked. Um, I think the person said, see if I can get a way to turn it on or something. And the way to, I, I know what to do anyway. The way to do that is actually trick. Just these flashing gates. Um, wait, let me just kill this crap first. This is some stuff shooting at me. Alright. So basically these flashing gates, I have to run through them. Um, all like really quickly in hovercraft because when I go through them they stop flashing and then if I keep going then basically if I do them all really quickly and I keep and um like let's say I think it's like under 30 seconds if I manage to go through all of them then it opens the water wheel all right so I think the person just said cool I don't really but anyway that turned on the water wheel um and yeah, the, since the music stopped, it's because it's on a playlist, which is on loop, and for some reason there's like 20 seconds of silence at the end, but whatever. It's gonna start soon again. There we go. Alright, um... Okay, so that didn't start the water wheel. It actually started these things. And you go on top of this, and you jump. So now I can get up here. And I think this, like, this is what I mean, this level is all over the place. It's kind of just one big area, but with like a bunch of different parts all kind of intertwined. Um, so I'll kill these guys. This is, um, this part, you gotta be careful just because these guys actually have more health than you're used to with people. And, kinda like level 2, it's the only level where the guys are this strong. Like, once you get to, like, level 6 and 7, they're back to sucking again, basically. Um, but yeah, okay, so now we go through this part. This part's kinda fun. Um, you can see all these, like, things on the side, these little, like, white, like, walls or whatever. Those are going to start moving and shooting out pillars, and I'm going to have to time it and run through them. Um, similar to the fire type thing that we saw in level 2. Alright, so here's the switch. That turned on the water wheel. Now I just have to get back there. Alright, so, as you can see, the pillars are now moving back and forth. They're going to squish me. 
they don't kill you right away, but they do damage. Um, so you just gotta time it kind of carefully. I think if you're, I think there's actually a way to run through it all at once if you start at the right timing. But I'm not gonna do that because I might die. <laughs> and I don't want to die when I'm taking a video, obviously. All right, and that's the last one. All right, and now a bunch of people just spawned. I mean, they have more health. So you can't kill them by running through them. But they're still not really a threat. I don't like. I don't. Why are people so weak in this game? I don't really get it. <laughs> Um, alright, so now we can go back to the pillar. Um, I'm just gonna get a hovercraft, get there faster. And now these suckers spawn. These little, like, there's a lot of, like, Star Wars ripoff things in this game. I don't, I don't know, these, I feel like those are in Star Wars. I don't really know what they are. They look like something that would be in Star Wars. Um, you're gonna see something later on. I think it's, like, level 7. There's, like, a direct ripoff of a Star Wars thing. Alright. And here comes the 20 seconds of awkward silence while the music stops. Um, Alright, so now I can go through this wheel. And I'm in the main area. Um, more people. Not a big threat, though I am actually taking some damage. Um, and yeah, let's just kill all these guys. Hopefully there'll be a power-up. Um, if I can get the missile power-up, which fires like four at once, then I'll be able to like kill four, like, all, like, literally four people with one shot, because they'll split. And, and, I mean, you'll see what I mean when we get the missile power up. I think it's here, actually. Is this it? Can't really see. Okay, I don't know what that was. I actually couldn't even see, but there's some kind of ammo. It wasn't powered up. Alright, this part's kind of weird. Apparently, it's a river of blood. For some reason, blood hurts you. So you have to go in hovercraft, so you're not actually touching the blood. Oh, crap. Getting a lot of damage. Alright, let me get out of here. There's, I know there's health nearby, um, oh crap, okay, I'm gonna get out of Hovercraft, because you're weaker in Hovercraft, obviously. Um, alright, so, more switches to be found, they're hidden in those things. Um, I'm not sure what that did, but probably opened some door. Um, you can't really see the radar, because the camera cut off, but the yellow triangles are health, or I mean our items, which could be health. So I'm just going to watch out for those, because right now I'm very low on health. Um, I could be dying soon, unless I get, like, a health pack very quickly. I'm just going to try and take, like, not um, too many hits. So I'm going to go a little slower. Oh, there's health. Alright. Never mind. Okay, so lots of people in this level. This level, like, actually, um, the final boss, or not the, the boss of this level is a person, which is funny enough. Um... She has a lot of health, but still, like, it's kind of weird. It's like I'm fighting, like, you're fighting, like, some bat woman or something, like, some mutant. Um, but it's just kind of weird, because it's like, you're a robot fighting a human, and, like, you're just gunning her down with, like, flamethrower, and she's just taking it, like, <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's a funny fight. Um, this is one of those levels you get in every game where the boss is just really weird, and, like, kind of hard, but, like, for the wrong reasons. Alright, um, like, in, for example, you can't really get a good, like, target on her, and it's just kind of annoying. <laughs> um, okay, so there's another switch. I'm gonna hit this. Alright, apparently that's the last one. I know they're not taking damage. Alright, so, looks like that thing I can go through now. Alright, and this leads to another switch. Ah, yeah, I remember this part. So this is, like, activates an elevator, which is gonna let me, like, Basically, if I go really fast, I can shoot out to the next area. Um, because this level is two parts. I'm about to enter the second part. Well, not two official parts, but here we go. Yeah. Alright. So, I'm in the next area now. Um, this part is really wide open. There's a million things I can do at once. I mean, I'm just looking at my radar, there's red dots everywhere. Um, but yeah. Alright, so, let's just see. I mean, right now, I can really just explore. It's kind of wild. There's not a lot to be said. There's nothing specific I have to do that I can think of. I'm just going to kill everything and see what's left. If there's any switches. Let's try walking on this thing. I'm pretty sure this leads somewhere. 
just kill these bats. There's a lot of like cyborg bats or something in this level. This is one of those weird levels you get in every game. Just like the boss, the bad guys are weird. Um, Alright, so this looks like this leads somewhere. Okay, I think I just fall here, yeah. And then here's a doorway. And that just summoned a bunch of bats. Um, I'm gonna go through here, there's probably like a power-up. This level, as you can tell, it's really big, really crazy. The game's gonna get interesting now, like this is, this is where the game really gets into it. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna climb up here now. Like, honestly, I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just wandering around, but I'm making progress, it looks like. I just wish I could find some health. You can use health a lot faster on hard mode. Alright, this is probably health. Not nah, ammo, whatever. Alright, here's another item. Health. Ammo. Alright. Um, this part is so dumb. Yeah, okay, I just fell. There's, like, all these holes, but the screen, like, it's so dark but you actually can't see them, like you just have to know where they are. I wasn't exactly sure where that one was, so that's why I just fell. Um, but I'm gonna try and get back to where that was. Okay, so we're over here, and then, yeah, okay, so we go over to the gate where the bats spawned. And I'll just go through that area again. I, there's probably another way there faster, but this is the only certain way, because this level is a complete maze. Um, Alright, killed that. Let's just go back to where we were, and I'll try and remember where the gap was. <laughs> um, I think there's two gaps, and it, it's so bad. Like, that's just cheap, you know? Alright. Let's kill that thing just because it's bothering me. Cool. Alright, so I think there's a gap right here. Jump. Yes, man. Alright. Okay, yeah, now, I'm actually on the boss. Wow, I didn't think it was, I thought it was longer. I think that's health across there. Okay, I made the jump. Sweet, alright. Full health, ready to fight this boss. And as you see, the boss, it's really hard to get, a, like, a target on her. That's the main problem. She's that person, you can't even really see her. She's in the middle there. You can sort of get a glance of her. It's more really my target that can see her than anything, but... See, like, I'm just shooting at her. She walks in and out, 